Good morning, good morning, people. Uh, my name is Helmo. This is the whole name. Uh, mine today is a word of encouragement because it is a situation that uh, I have found myself so many times in. Uh, when you read the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 13, from verse 1 to 6, it's a cry of uh, like. You feel as if you're lost. You feel as if God is not there with you. You feel as if, yeah, everything is just crumbling down. And uh, like in this verse, David uh, kept on asking God, How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? And he felt as if God had already forgotten him. Uh, he goes on to ask, How long will you hide your face? From me yeah sometimes we go through difficult situation and we see as if God is far away as if he's not hearing us as if he's, he cannot see us as if he's hiding away from us then he continues to say how long must I wrestle with my thoughts day after day yeah most of the time we get to have thoughts so many thoughts going around our minds maybe it's a situation that you've been going through maybe it is this situation uh, problems, the, uh, financial problems, uh, family issues you've been going through and then you keep on asking, uh, you wonder, okay, how long should these thoughts keep on lingering into your mind, feeling so depressed, distressed, yeah, uh, and sometimes you feel as if you're, you know, your heart is crushing. It goes on, how long will my enemies triumph over me? When you go out, you see as if your enemies are laughing at you, people who uh, maybe thought you can't make it, are like, ah, yeah, he's not making it. Uh, but one thing that uh, David still uh, kept on, it's his faith in praying and trusting God and also in believing that God is still there no matter the difficult situation i continues on to say that look on me and answer look on me and answer lord my god give light to my eyes yeah like open my eyes so as i may see what you're doing that is how i take it okay he says give light to my eyes or i will sleep in death and my enemies will say i have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. Yeah, he's asking God to give light to his eyes so as he doesn't go into depression possibly, he doesn't forget about his salvation, he doesn't so that he doesn't uh, he lose track of God. Uh, the word of God continues to say, uh, yeah, I said earlier that he kept his trust in God because here he says, but I trust in your unfailing love. Yeah, you remember what God has done for you before. Like not for David, he could remember, yes, God God gave him victory over Goliath. It's so many, God uh, rescued him from Saul when Saul wanted to hurt him with the sword. Was it a sword? Yeah, sword of Javelin, I can't remember well. Yeah. He remembers all that. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Yes, he saved him so many times. Uh David was one man that uh, was, even the Bible says he was a man after God's own heart. Because no matter the obstacles, no matter the, okay, sometimes he would fall, but at the same time he would go back to God and repent and cry, put on a sackcloth, uh, apply ashes, and then just go back to God and repent. And then he goes on to say, I will sing the Lord's praise. For he has been good to me. How many of us remembers uh, to worship, to sing, to praise God when you're in a difficult situation? Sometimes it is very difficult. But once you learn how to praise God, even in those difficult situations, trust you me, there is a certain relief that comes in your heart and you feel, yes, no matter the situation, I can still overcome it. Keep praying. Keep trusting in God. Keep rejoicing and keep worshiping. And trust you me, my friend, my brother, my sister, trust you me, you will receive what God has destined for you. No matter the challenges, the situation, God still is God. And he's still seated, he's still seated on the throne. And he still can hear you. Only 
only that your, uh, the time that we want him to answer us is not the, the same time that he will answer us. His time is always the perfect time. His time is always the right time. So keep on trusting in God. Keep on worshipping him. Keep on serving him. Keep on believing that he is still God in your life and he will do that which no man can do. He will do that which you think it is impossible because there is nothing that is impossible with our God. Uh, keep your focus. Uh, keep on trusting in God again and again. Uh, keep on rejoicing. Yeah, I have seen the goodness of God in my life. Uh, I have so many friends who can talk about this. I have seen the goodness of God in my life. Yeah, there's a time I felt I also used to ask, how long, God, have you forgotten me? Am I not worshipping you enough? Am I not good enough? Haven't I served you? God, why have you left me? Yeah, because he's my father. I don't have any other father that I can just go there to him and weep and just cry out my heart to. It is only my father who is at in heaven. Yeah, the one who saved me from the pit of death. Yes, he saved me. He rescued me. Yeah. The same God is the God that I serve today. He has rescued me. He has given me joy. He has given me a glowing face. A glowing... Yeah, I'm, I'm so much different from the person I was like two years ago. Like, not even two years ago. Like a person I was a year ago. I'm so much different. And then this is all because... Yeah, I cried for so many years asking God how long will you and even now I still ask sometimes I ask God how long will this go on but he has been God and he has been so faithful and I will keep on worshipping and my encouragement to you is no matter the situation no matter the difficulties just keep on trusting in God just don't keep praying keep on rejoicing and keep on worshipping him thank you have a blessed day yeah, today it's the 25th of January. Yeah, the month of January is almost over. Yeah, thank you God for the Father that you've brought us. Worship you, we glorify your name, oh God. We trust in you to carry us out throughout this month, throughout this year. Father, may you help us to keep the focus and keep us keep on trusting praying, worshipping, and even rejoicing in who you are in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for always giving a ear to our cry. Even when we are complaining, God, you still on ear us and you answer us. Thank you, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen.